Hey, what is up guys? It's Excuse Me and Jack and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. So in this video, we are going to be creating a new enclosure. I don't know what it is going to be yet. <laughs> it's been a while since I've recorded a video. I took a break from, you know, doing YouTube and I've been focusing on some other stuff. But, you know, now I'm getting back into it. I'm ready to start building this park again. And let's try to decide what we want to do. So in the last episode, we created our T-Rex enclosure. Something basic, something, you know, using the natural borders of the land by using the biofence fences. Biofence? Biosyn fences. <laughs> and, you know, just having something simple for the T-Rex, you know. Kind of giving it that, like, Jurassic-esque vibe, but at the same time of having it feel like we're in the wood the redwoods but yeah let's actually decide what we want to make for our next enclosure so you guys are going to be in the process for this one i know i can just look at that poll i did like a month ago but i th want to do something special so we're going to have probably it's probably going to be another here let me show you the area it'll probably be another little safari area right here taking us to our next part of the park um so realistically what i can do is i can take our next attraction so i could take the jurassic tour and honestly i'll put it like right here um and then i can have it be attached so this is gonna take some like thought so like something like this right we can delete this probably delete that one too so we can like give it more of a incline to get in Okay, and then delete the rest of this. Okay. And then we can take this one. And pretty much just send it out. Like so. So for right now, we can just do something like this, you know? I don't like that curve. Just to actually go into that curve. Okay. And then I can delete the rest of this. Okay, so for now, that's going to be our pathway. Uh, but that's most likely not going to be, like, 100%. Fences are we using again? Jurassic World fences, right? Not like. Okay. So, what I want to do here is I want to actually flatten. Like. 
up to right here. Um. Um. Actually, hold on. Let's go like in here more. Okay. We can have this fight. It doesn't matter. Um. And then I'm going to want to delete the path right here, actually. Okay, that can go up. I'm okay with it going up. I might want to flatten this area real quick just so I can get like a view of what my land would look like. trees then. Okay, that looks like it's enough. Great, now I'm gonna put the trees right here. So we can kind of hide this incline a bit. You know, so it doesn't look like it just goes up. Then we're gonna add a fence here. Now, this fence is gonna change um, but this is just our perimeter fence that we're just going to have on the side. Um, okay. And then I want to have this slanted. And then I want to have it go sloped. I actually want this to be on the lower lower level I feel like if having this in the lower level would actually make it easier to hide from the top than it would be to have it on like a different level or on the same level because the one thing I don't like about the redwood trees is that you can actually see them or like, see through them like see the area around them okay which means that I'm going to have to <coughs> modify the terrain a bit a little bit more um this is gonna be interesting because we don't have a smaller brush so we're gonna just stick with having it be right here like so i'm gonna bring this out to the fence Okay, fix this a little bit. Oh, not right, not the right level. Okay, fix that a little bit. We can slope it. Cool. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to take this side of the fence and pretty much just drag it all the way across. Um, let's try you actually. here let's increase the size of this enclosure by a bit okay so we're probably not gonna go that far deep but i do feel like having kind of a elevated area that's an actual enclosure is nice. Are there trucks on this? Oh, there are trucks on that. That way I can't. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, the next thing I want to do with this is I want to actually set up the viewing galleries before anything else. Now, the viewing galleries, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to have them at a lower level than the actual plateau that I have. I'm going to actually change this plateau. It is really high. Let me go change it right there. That honestly sounds like that would be like the best choice right there. Yeah. A lot of this, like, you know, sandbox building is level, like, management and, like, you know, terrain-based stuff. And it's interesting because you don't really expect, like, all that. You just expect, oh, dinosaur game, you know, make a dinosaur, release the dinosaur, you know. Um, so it's kind of cool that you actually have to think about, like, what you want and how you can be creative with it. Um, I feel like that's a very special part of the game. Um, as, like, same thing with, like, all, like, the other, like, strategy management games, you know? I feel like that's an important part of a lot of those things. Alright, we're gonna add the exit, or the down, the, um, ramp. God, I can't, can't think, I can't think. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add, like, it right there, which means this is gonna be sloped, this is gonna be sloped, and this is gonna be sloped. I might have to slope this a little bit more. So that means I'm going to have to mess with the terrain right here a bit. Okay. I'm going to put dirt. Yeah, I'm going to put dirt. This is one of the maps where the dirt actually looks nice. I'm going to put dirt down so we actually have an idea of what the pathway would be. Okay. So pathway comes up, it goes to the fence. Goes on the side, goes through like this. It comes through, goes there. Okay, then I can have you go through here. Mm. Actually, no. Yeah, let's let's leave the original path there. Okay, I can have you come here, come through here, go down the ramp. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this as well too. So we kind of have our pathway as it is right here. This is what the pathway is going to be like. I know you might be wondering why the hell would I take a tour just to get to the other side. Um, entertainment. I don't know. You won't be able to see these dinosaurs without going to this area. You know, Disneyland type things. Now let's ramp this. Okay. Cool. Before we like set anything up like for sure, I want to put our viewing galleries. Now The way the viewing galleries are going to be set up, we're going to have the pathway lead up to this, if I'm correct. If what I'm envisioning makes sense. <laughs> right. So this pathway is going to go all the way straight up right here. Okay, which means that this needs to be sloped down, or smoothened, smoothed down, smoothened, smoothered, smoothed, smoothed it. Okay. So like so. And then from here, you know, we could branch off <coughs> to each direction. I do feel like we should be using these ones, these smaller pathways I feel like those probably work the best right here okay now let's add our viewing galleries we're going to add a viewing gallery 
at the very entrance right here. We're going to add a viewing gallery right here. And then we're going to add a viewing platform. Right here. Another thing I really wanted to add at some point is a zip line. Um, the only thing is I've been struggling to find a place to actually put it. Um, I don't know how far the zip line can go. Okay, that's not that far at all. Okay. Mm. Like that's nothing. Like, why the frick would I... You know, I, I I just don't have like a. I need a the next episode. Next episode, I'm going to create a zipline. I've been wanting to create a zipline in this game for a while. I just don't like how it looks when like it's unlike leveled and like one side is like super tall compared to like the other, or compared to all the buildings around it, as you probably saw like right now with all the stuff. Um, okay, let's do like that. Let's do like that one. Cool. All of that is up. Okay. Now oh, this is what has to be straight. So maybe this will work. figure you what happens with you out in a little bit let me just figure out this side first okay okay i didn't want to give it too much space Okay, that is uh, too much of a sharp turn. I've been also playing um, other games recently. Like I've been really um, focused on a game called Satisfactory. It's like a um, survival-based game, but like you create factories and it depends on automation and all that stuff. And it's pretty cool. Um, it's not something I play for the channel because it's um it just requires a lot of rebuilding and thinking and you know laying out things like the closest i do for like that game for the channel is guides and to be honest i'm not really good at the game anyways well i'm i'm not really good at explaining myself in general so like you know throughout these videos you might see me go like um uh, you uh you know not even know what i want to do <laughs> um but like in those, I wouldn't even know what to say when it comes to like stuff like that. Cause it's like, oh, I'm basically creating a guide for you guys to do. Like, like making a guide for like this game is so much easier than, you know, that game. Cause this game, it's not, you know, it doesn't depend on a certain like amount of buildings you need or whatever i mean it does but like not to the extent of some other games and i don't know 
I, I also uploaded that video for my friend's birthday. Um, which I'm going to tell you guys now, I am not going to be uploading, you know, County Strike, Valorant, or, um, what was the other game? Lethal Company on my channel anytime soon. Um, that was just like pretty much a one time thing for my friend's birthday because, you know, I wanted to do something special. Um, although some of those games sound fun and it would be nice to upload <laughs> some things, but um, I, I wouldn't. I'd probably start a new channel if that was the case because this channel is too focused on Jurassic World Evolution as it is. And you know, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I'd love to get into other games, but you know, that's up to you guys. If you guys want that, you know, tell me. It's just, if it's not gonna be something you guys wanna see, then I'll just, you know, do it somewhere else. Um, my friend streams on Twitch. If you wanna check that out, um, the link will be in the description below. I'll also put a card up to it if I could. I think I can. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. Um, this area right here, I'm not going to focus on this area until later because I'm going to extend this outward. So um, this area is going to be an entirely different video as I create the next area, which is going to be the next video. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go check out, you know, some of the stuff she does and if you want to check out her streams. And see, you know, me not playing this game and see me just hanging out and being annoying or, you know, mildly offensive. <laughs> Go ahead and check that out. Um, the link will be in the description. Okay. So we want to create more trees. I'm actually I'm loving the amount of trees that I'm seeing right now. Only thing is, I know I'm gonna have to add water. So. It doesn't help that I always play this game on three times mode. Probably is why it lags a lot when I'm recording videos. I play it on three times mode. Okay, we can add a water source here. I want it to be lower. <coughs> okay. You know, something simple, something not too, too circular or generic. Okay. Cool. I feel like we need to add a water source up here, so I will just do that right here. Something small. Okay. So that's the that's the enclosure right now. Now let's see what type of dinosaurs we want to include. I've been thinking the Apatosaurus, but do I? I don't have the Apatosaurus yet. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna be looking at the Jurassic World, of, uh, Jurassic World Dominion and see how I can add those types of dinosaurs. Cause I think the dinosaurs in the Redwoods or the Apatosaurus, the Ankylosaurus, and something else. But I think I have the Ankylosaurus somewhere already. Yeah, I already do. Okay. I'll figure out what I need to put in there. Uh. So it might be the Apathosaurus, and I need some other stuff. I definitely need some other stuff. Alright guys, so... I've chosen the dinosaurs. And we're going to go with the Apatosaurus, the Iguanodon, the Pachyridosaurus, and the Archaeoethermimus. So, um... So, um... Yeah, so we're going to need some tall leaves, we're going to need ground fruit, and we're going to need ground fiber. So, I feel like that should be enough for this area. Now, um, tall leaf. For tall leaf, what I'm going to want to probably do... Is 
is either use this rather than these trees because these kind of match the environment you know we can just throw them in there and they actually fit in pretty well um this is gonna give me some brain damage okay yeah so i feel like i can put this temskia temska into the enclosure with it looking nice like fill in the gaps a little bit of the enclosure i'm gonna put some ground leaf there actually you know just fill in the blanks you know something small so this gets rid of our tall leaf requirement Okay, now we need, what is it, ground fiber, but we also need this. So this provides some ground fiber, so I think we sh should be okay. Don't quote me on that, we should be okay. Okay, we can create like a grove here. Okay, then we also can do one... Up here near the water. Okay. Then we might need a little bit more ground fiber to like appease them. So I'm just going to place just a little bit around the sides of the track. Okay, like so. Then I'm going to release them, see how they enjoy the enclosure. So, I don't have any more iPads. So okay, yeah, I thought I didn't have any. Just wanted to make sure. Okay, that's one of them. There's two of them. Want it on? Argo Nithomimus. Let's put you around here. Okay. And then our Pachyrhinosaurus. Ah, uh, you like, you're the one with the ground fiber, right? Okay, we can put you like all the way over here. Cool. So let's just wait for them to get into the enclosure and we'll see where we can go from there. I do, hold on. As they come into the enclosure, I do want to place some more Redwoods because I did kind of get rid of a lot of them placing these trees and then I'm gonna place some of these ones these smaller ones and then I'm gonna place these ones That's no, that's a redwood forest. Um, although I do want to add some more trees along here.
I also want to add some rocks on the bottom right here. Okay, we can do something like that. Okay. Okay, cool. You guys are comfortable. You guys are roaming everywhere, so that's going to be interesting to figure out how you deal with each other. Because you guys are actually out of the area that you guys are supposed to be in. You know what the best part about this game is like the new thing that they added to this game that I really hoped that was that should have been in the game since like a long time ago the best part <laughs> is that you can now actually take the jeeps And you could actually drive through the tour gates with them. And you were able to do that to some extent, but when it came to these types of gates, you were not able to. Now you're able to. Now you could actually create your Jurassic Park and, you know, use the Jurassic Park vehicles and stuff and all that stuff. Which is something that I should have should have been a thing. You're missing water. Aren't you like one big Okay. Weirdos, I guess. <laughs> Which is something that I feel like should have been in the game for a while. But, you know. The game is. You know how the game is. But, yeah. Anyways, let's continue and let's wait for these guys to land. Alright. I feel like all of them are actually contempt in their enclosure. What is going on with you guys? Ground fruit. You need more ground fruit? Okay, I'm okay with that. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> um, is that it? No, we have a couple more. Two, three, four, five. Um, what is your ideal population? Well, I'm pulling everyone in there. So, you know, you have eight people or eight dinosaurs, not people. <laughs> Okay, yeah, but my plan for this area, though, is to continue it on so it follows, like, the tour path, right? And then every once in a while, we have a stop that goes into the next area, and this whole area is going to be a mix between, you know, enclosures and, you know, little outdrafts of, you know, these, these like, shopping areas. All right. All right, guys. So that's going to be it. You are having an issue. <laughs> um, look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Let's actually take a pause. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And here's some more videos coming out this year. Uh, hopefully we reach 5k this year. I'm going to actually try for that. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.